Hello and welcome. Um, today we will be working with some clay. So this is uh, just normal um, clay that I've uh, molded into a nice handle. It um, uh, will be used with the DSL uh, DSLR rear to um, uh, to get some good grip on the handles, basically. Um, so I formed it after my hand, which of course it's not that specific, but. Uh, um, yeah, this is just one way of doing it. Um, so I'm using the MakerBot digitizer to uh, digitalize this model. <laughs> um, so you can see the laser um, on the model, and in the background you have the um, the file being printed. So it's basically a laser line on the product, which the camera um, in the in the scanner sees as a uh, a line, which it, it creates points on. So after a while, you get a point cloud, which the digitizer converts into a mesh model like this. Um, speaking of mesh, I put a model into Mesh Mixer from Autodesk, which is a great software for um, editing um, uh, mesh files, basically. So you can add uh, different types of mesh. So if you do uh, several scans, you can add them together to create a watertight model, or you can sculpt models, or basically anything Creative. It's like the Pixelogic C brush, but um, a bit easier and free. So you can get it from Autodesk and uh, Autodesk 123D apps. Um, basically, I just want to do a quick model, so um, this is the first time I'm using Mesh Mixer actually. Um, but I'm just smoothing out the surfaces and, and getting some details from around the model. Um, I just want some some comfortable grip, uh, which can be easily mirrored, and so you can have two handles on the rig. Or um, th this is for the shoulder version, of course, since it's quite uh, pointy. The, the grip. I will also make a grip for for a cage uh, version of the printer. Um, but yeah, you can see how the surfaces are just being smoothed out, and some details are being uh, enhanced. I'm working to just get the lines right. These reflective um, materials are great to to uh, reveal any uh, uneven surfaces. Uh, this will be uh, edited in Rhino in just a f uh, just a short while, and you can see how um, how you can create lines and and sweep a surface around a mesh model. Um, as you might know, mesh models are not that good for manufacturing. Or creating um, machine parts, since they're based on triangles and, and point cloud, um, you want to use nerves, which are can be explained as mathematical shapes. So if I compare mesh and, and nerves, it's like comparing pixel data uh, to uh, vector graphics. So you want to use vector graphics or or nerve surfaces um, when creating machine parts. It's easier to modify and to change radiuses and, and everything. So that's why I'm, I'm making a smoother model, but not making it pitch perfect, because that will that will be done in, in Rhino. So uh, yeah, there's a, a good set of tools to be able to um, move around the different types of um, uh, shapes you want to create. You can really smooth, you can pitch, you can uh, move around or um, as you can see, I'm pinching out some, some of the grip that was lost during smoothing. Um, this is actually very easy. And if you have a Wacom tablet or anything like that, it's it's very easy to, to uh, work it. And uh, yeah, you can see the result is quite a lot better than before, but um, it's not it's not super smooth. But uh, we'll be, that will be fixed later on. Um, fixing the, the lower bottom here before we're ready. So when you're done, it's uh, just exported as a STL file, for example, or OBG. And then we'll um, bring it into Rhino. We'll use a, a segment tool to um, to actually take this model and then uh, convert it to um, to lines. So you can see I uh, take mesh and I'm just 
referring to the distance that will be segmented and the difference between each each segment. So there 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 is, and we can remove the um, the files, and we only have the lines left. So what I'm going to do now is to reconstruct these these lines because we want them to be more smooth. So um, by reducing the, the the control points, uh, we get a, a smoother model basically. I'm not sure that you can see the difference in the in the preview here. Um, yeah. So on, after that, we um, basically do it for all the models. Yeah, there it is. You can see the difference. Um, and then we're going to loft. Um, the tool is called loft, but it's yeah, it's like sweeping. So this is a, it's a workable surface and not a so-called dead mesh surface. Just looking at the different um, types of. Um, and shapes so it's smooth around the top. Then we're of course going to have to close it uh, so we use just normal cap. I'm always making a copy, I should have should have saved but I haven't done that yet. Uh, I'm making a copy uh, to be able to work on. So after that we're basically uh, just creating the, the um, connector part for, for the rod systems in the uh, in the rig. Um, so here you can see um, it's creating the 15 millimeter um, diameter plus some some margin. Uh, I think it's 0.2 millimeter for the um, rod system. And since you're 3D printing, you, you have to take account it's some margin of error when um, depending on the different types of machines and the G code being used. Um, so this is yeah, it's quite simple design. Um, I just want it to work, uh, and and when when it's all done, we can uh, we can start making improvements and creating the version two together. Sometimes you get stuck in the details. So you want to have a good angle. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but. Uh, Trimming off the, the extra edges, uh, as you can see, Ryan is very easy to use. Um, it's basically draw tools uh, and, and uh, extrude surfaces. Kind of looks like a duck face. Here we have it. Uh, yeah. It's all in place, but you can see it. Um, so um, the system of, of connectors and, and tightening rods that I've designed will be implemented here as well. So I'm just importing the um, the, the files that was um, using uh, one of the main parts uh, using for this uh, project. And just stealing some of the reference parts. It's always good to have uh, w w when you've tried something and it works. It's always good to reuse those parts again. Uh, so, for example, I have all the the uh, dimensions and for the different um, bolts and nuts that I have printed several times, which works. So I'm using those um, just to uh, uh, to make this quicker. Of course, using all the kinds of snapping tools available. Make it as easy as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just to um, to subtract the, the shapes uh, in the model. And I just realized I designed it um, a bit strange. I guess I have, um, I have to have place for the uh, for the bolt, oh sorry, for the for the, for the nut. I'm just making it bigger and moving it all around. So 
this is the place for the bolt. As you see, we don't really need a, a thickness below it. Uh, we just need some some uh, thickness above it. Um, so when you tighten it, it, it doesn't break. But since you're not going to load um, it on the opposite direction, we don't need that much plastic on, on the bottom side of the bolt. And then we have the screw diameter, which we will use as well. So I'm taking the new shape and the screw in it again, moving the different parts into correct position. Like that, and then you just subtract the parts. It's very easy. Um, it's just a way of thinking when you're actually doing parts that are going to be 3D printed because you don't want the um, the gaps and the the, uh, the shape that requires support materials. It's always good to uh, to draw from above and down, so to say, in the, in the top view, and then you extrude, and then you can make some some holes. I think I believe that's the easiest way to uh, to create parts. Um, that are easy to print. Of course, it's you can always print with support material, but uh, you have to um, process the parts, which can can take some while. Like that. Now I'm just showing off um, the different parts and, and the, the design goals here. I hope you can understand the the, uh, the design. I think that I will actually make that uh, just a bit smaller because, it, as you can see. It was designed from profile, but on the shaker it looks a bit strange when when the uh, connector is um, larger than the handle itself. <coughs> so um, if you want, you can skip ahead, but this is just a, a brief um, assemble to show you how it all looks and how the, the two parts are, are um, attached. You can see the, the thumb screw on the top. Then it's easy just to mirror and to get the other model ready as well. Um, so there you have it. I'm just going to show you um, how we are going to work with them, um, how the whole design is intended to go together, or yeah, how it's supposed to work. So this the part uh, that, I'm, that I'm rotating now is the one of the main connector which holds together the camera plate or any other accessory plates. Um, it's a compact system with two screws and two two slots for um, for extra mounting. For example, mounting the camera plate, which is um, this part here that I'm selecting in just a few seconds. That part, yeah, the yellow uh, the plate. So this one, um, of course, is just for. Um, Reference, but I want to show you how how it's how the base is intended to go together. I'm still working on the uh, follow focus. Uh, it's it's difficult to to solve the problems with the the gearing maths to get it all together and to get it adjustable with ease, so that you can basically specify your diameter and then um, get the right f the focus for for the right lens. But there you have it. This is um, the main system, as you can see. And I have to have a, a rod connector, so from um, so, so that you can connect rods into the same piece uh, in 90 degrees. I'm still working on those, and um, I hope to get them get them finished soon. So, if you like this project and you want to see more, please subscribe um, and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please just drop comments. And you have, um, of course, the forums as well to, to give me tips and ideas and everything. You can also find the files on Thingiverse, but uh, those are only um, prototypes. So thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.